Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. And today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the month of November. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to pull some cards to get some clarity to a question in your mind. So you can hold that question and we'll see what's going to be coming up for you. By the way, if you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and see my Etsy shop down in the description box. And go ahead and book a reading if you would like. And if you don't want that, you can just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. But it helps the channels a lot. And I truly appreciate that. And I also would like to let you know that um, I truly appreciate you being here. Okay. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. and Let's see what's coming your way. My beautiful Scorpios. Let's go. I see a fish coming out here within the third month, which is a big fish. Um, seems like from another place. And this is actually turning into like an international path for you. This um, And this teardrop here. So you might be receiving some good news very soon, okay? Uh, from another country maybe which will bring you some wealth and abundance with this news you're gonna create some abundance in your life okay i see somebody here actually holding this thought bubble in their hand this might be an inspiration an idea that you have been contemplating thinking about taking action but you're hesitant but the clarity is actually going to show up within the first week because I see an eye here. There is a person inside of this eye. This can be someone watching over you or even maybe giving you support with this thing that you're this thought bubble you're holding in your hand. When I zoom out, I see, you can see somebody's silhouette here with a thought bubble. When we zoom in, you see two people that are actually contemplating and talking about something and merging together, holding and creating this V as a victory. And right after that, I see you rising here with your beautiful cloak. And like this reminds me of the Hierophant. The, that's actually Taurus energy and Venus energy, by the way. But it doesn't have to be, like, you don't have to have a Taurus on your chart. This can be authority, strength, and power that you're embodying. And you are holding your hands up in the air, maybe praying for something to happen, or even dominating a situation and giving, leading a situation with your energy. This doesn't have to be literally uh, just coming like just dressing up and getting in front of people and telling them what to do like just opening your arms and just you know yelling at them this can be like in your mind that you are actually feeling in control that the things are in your mind in your hand that you can actually the, control the situation as soon as this happens i see there's actually a dog here it looks like a very cute dog and can be someone who actually going to be very loyal along the path when you act, take your power and start to step into the things that you want to create. You're going to have a lot of supporters and this even looks like an angel wings here. Okay, angels are going to be supporting what you would like to achieve. I see someone, this looks like a mother talking to her child here. So this can be an influence in your life, maybe a person in your life that you're going to receive advice from. Or maybe you're going to be giving this advice to the people who are actually um, under you higher, uh, in a hierarchic way. Or maybe your youngers that are going to be receiving um, advice from you and helping you to grow this energy that you have. I see within the second week, there's a path opening here that you're going to be traveling and uh, maybe just taking a little trip to somewhere that is going to make you feel better. There's a legal paper showing here. This can be also like a mail coming in, maybe a good news, a check in the mail, something that will actually brighten up your week, brighten up the day, showing up unexpectedly. I see a man's face here with like glasses and uh, maybe a big nose. This can be someone who's actually involved in this paper appearing in your life. And they have a beautiful aura, very light, bright aura. So this person can be someone actually giving you a hand and helping you. 
I see a panda here. This can be indicative of you. It's time for you to take some time for yourself and maybe just rest and give yourself this um, nurturing and love and um, even be lazy a little bit because you deserve this one. And um, with that, when you, uh, you know, use that energy and just give yourself this time, you, you're building this tower of light for yourself, okay? This will actually raise your vibration. This will actually bring you more opportunities. Even this beautiful cup appearing here, this can be a cup also filled with love and light, can be a new emotional fulfilling beginning for you showing up, okay? I see there's a person here, one-eyed human being here. This is not probably a human, but can be energy of like in the energy of a person that might have like one eye laser focused personality okay um i don't know what kind of signs can be like that maybe fire signs are laser focused on the things that they do um, but this can be like a person who has hyper focused abilities they're going to be appearing maybe even traveling from a path towards you maybe from another city another town they're going to be coming towards you and adding more onto the light but also, they have like an aggressive person in front of them. So you might be prepared. Be prepared for any negative influence showing up. But your energy is so beautiful. They're going to be eliminated right away. You see that there's going to be... They're coming and they're leaving as soon as they arrive. This person has also a cowgirl hat here. I feel like she's like... This is a she, by the way. As soon as she comes, she's leaving. She's not going to be staying for too long, Okay. Within the third and the fourth week, there's going to be a time of like relaxation again. But this time I see a huge whale here, which indicates money, wealth and abundance. So this is going to arrive and then you're going to experience this experience the relaxation, maybe taking your time and even maybe planting a tree that will actually bring you a lot of wealth in the future can also be a new different path you're going to be taking maybe going taking a small vacation or meeting with like-minded people i see a couple dogs here which indicates very loyal people that are going to be serving your highest good you're going to be joining with them okay right guys let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire and intention hold it in your mind there's a full moon also crescent moon showing so if you have any legal issues they will be probably the solution will be coming for them I see a horse here, but the head looks like a human. Horse indicates wish fulfillment. This can be a person or a situation about a person that you're manifesting. That will also be showing up within the first week. And your desire, okay, initially might not show up right away. Might have some time. There's even like a bag here appearing with a light. Bag of money. First, it's small though. Maybe if you're manifesting money, it might show up in the smaller portions that you're desiring. But eventually, the things are going to fall into place and it's going to start moving really fast. I see a duck here wearing a um, crown. Ducks, because of their feminine nature, motherhood, they have like a very strong... And your desire is splitting up into two, so it's going to bring you more than you're expecting also. This duck indicates that your feminine energy, that you're connecting with your feminine side and creating this beautiful, loving, nurturing environment for yourself and for the others in your life. There's a letter E, can be like Eric, Elmer, Erica, some um, person is going to be appearing and um, they are actually in your heart. And this person can be someone very wealthy. And um, I see here an owl. They're going to be appearing within the month. Um, but what happens is within the first week, there's a key and there's an owl. Owls indicates intuition. So you're going to receive some intuitive guidance to take a step forward. Maybe just the key can be a new house or a new situation. Or maybe something that a locked door will be opening for you within the first week. And then this Eric, Erica appearing. I see the face of a lion can be a Leo. And there's a ring under this um, shape here. This ring can be indication of this person actually coming to you with commitment. And if you're not, there's also a smiley face here. So you're going to be enjoying this very much when they arrive. You can see the smiley face, right? But it's a little dark energy, meaning 
like it's gonna be maybe some sort of like a accomplishment this is gonna be some sort of a thing that you are actually manifesting this person for a long time and they didn't show up maybe they didn't really give any hope to you and now they're arriving they're coming back crawling maybe that's why you're feeling like this energy of like i told you so okay number nine here means enlightenment the key is actually showing in the shape of nine which says understanding and uh, completion something's coming to an end and i also see here a big bird bringing you great news about a situation towards the end of the month ring like i said this person wants to commit to you this can also be like a new boss that who wants to maybe sign a contract with you if you're manifesting a new job can also be as someone who wants to offer you some love and commitment in a relationship we have here for your cards four swords in the beginning yes there is rest showing for you okay you need to rest you need to gather up your energy because the things are starting to move really fast okay we have here the knight of cups love offer might be show no no knight of cups yes um can be a water sign like you are cancer pisces or scorpio coming in but the resting and gathering your energy will actually help them appear better this can also be your energy you're cultivating your creativity and stepping forward and maybe starting to you know just create new good things for yourself and i we have here the crescent moon which is regular moon in tarot is if there's a mystery the clarification will be coming might be going through a situation that um you don't know what's gonna come next but the clarity the moon is actually eliminating the path so you're gonna hit the road you're gonna follow your intuition take necessary steps and your path will be appearing to you okay and inspiration and the good messages might show up so listen be listening on the listening mode we have here the empress for sure connect with your feminine energy because the things are going to be flowing through feminine meaning you do the things that makes you feel good like the creative actions do creative things okay this will help you connect with your feminine energy better and we have here six of pentacles there's a cycle a new cycle beginning of giving and receiving so you're going to start to to see what you put out there uh, if you're putting love out there love will be coming if you're creating a lot of good service this will actually start to pay back to you the service in the meaning like serving the humanity maybe you're making people happy by your actions and you're going to receive more of that back in return from the universe we have here from your wisdom of the hidden realms the ring master of scrutiny discernment clear vision details number nine enlightenment again there you go and um let's see what the message is for you here so this is telling me if you have if you want to manifest something have a clear vision in your mind write it down the details and just act with discernment towards your goal the message here is the ringmaster of scrutiny is all about the details Look closely and pay attention to the smallest elements of what's being presented to you on your path. It is in these details, not the broad strokes, that will find the breathtaking beauty and perfection in what you observe. This ally is on your side to point to the deeper meaning of what unfolds in front in your life. And he remains reminds you what <laughs> and he reminds you that every moment counts staying present in the perfect moment observing the minute minutes things minute things okay what's i don't know what's happening with me right now <laughs> leads you to manifest your highest good and greatest desires grand gestures are for other times it's the smallest acts that really counts now yes so it's beautiful the message is very simple so take small steps towards your goals because whatever that you're desiring is actually unfolding will be unfolding in front of you like the moon um, illuminates your path the things will be illuminated the path will be made cleared for you okay all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading 
If you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, okay? I hope your days are filled with miracles and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.